Ladies, gentlemen, one and all, welcome to Dawn of Warsaw Storm Unification once again, where today we are jumping right into the game, pretty much. Or right into the loading screen, more specifically. Uh, because I have a replay commentary for you. Which, uh, yeah, I played this one the other day, and I don't actually remember what happened in it. All I remember was it is on Pavonus. And I remember there was some space marines in it. If you couldn't tell by the um, the factions that we have here on the loading screen. So let's go. It's going to be interesting rediscovering this whole thing. So, in the west, we have me playing the space marines. I can't remember specifically what color scheme this is, but it's sort of black and red. So, you know, I just call it the Dennis the Menace color scheme. Over in, I'm not quite sure what position this is, but um, in the sort of centre of the map, we have the Imperial Fists. In the sort of, just off north, we have Computer 2 as the Blood Angels. Are they Computer 1? Yes, they're Computer 1. Okay, that's fine. We're off to a good start. Uh, five, that's three. There we go. Right in the computer south secure. is Computer 3 as the Salamanders. Just above them, across a building that it could probably be shot across if they had line of sight, is Computer 4 as the Black position Templars. Secure. And in position whatever this is, we have Computer 5 as the 13th Company. This is on the public version, so the 13th Company have not got their buffs yet, but we will see how they do. Uh, so firstly, I am, of course, going around capping as much as is remotely possible. I mean, in this kind of a matchup, you kind of want as much of an eco bonus as you can possibly get. Or an eco advantage, shall I say. So yeah, three scout opening for me. Two, uh, two servitors to go around build listening posts. And I went for a Force Commander Boreal. Because for some reason I turned Heroes back on. and I, uh, Or Hero War Gear back on. And I don't remember when I did that. The Imperial Fists. They've gone for two... Uh, three Siege Marines. And two Builders. So kind of same as me really. And they're getting their Siege Captain out. Uh, I have found the Salamanders. The Salamanders have come over to try and take my points. Uh, now, unfortunately for them, they are going to encounter some resistance, though I am a little outgunned at this time. The Blood Angels and the Imperial Fists have uh, glared at each other, but not really shot yet. Though they might start shooting in a moment if uh, the Assault Scout Marines want this relic. Or Assault Scout Squad, even. Uh, Siege Marines just say no and start shooting explosive rounds at them. Sounds about right for the fists. Uh, the Black Templars have managed, managed to claim this center relic here. And seem to be capturing points on the ways down to the salamanders. Uh, Boreal is out and has helped to finish off these salamander scout squads. They are path blocking my servitor, that's very rude. One of my scout squads has come across an assault scout squad and is boltering them in the face and it's doing precisely nothing because their fire on the move accuracy is um, uh, is something at least yes everyone seems to be going around trying to cap at the moment the salamanders are coming over with a slight force the salt scout squad seems to have got a little ways in I think maybe they were going to try and cap this, and then just realise they couldn't. Uh, I still haven't capped this uh, sort of southwest mid bit, 
with the relic and the strategic point. I should probably get on that at some point. I have actually put down a listening post, or an LP2, and a heavy bolter turret here. Uh, mainly just to ward off any errant assault scout squads. Though the heavy bolter turret was probably a bit overkill. In the meantime, I have actually got a monastery upgrade. So, yes, I am tier 2 now. Unfortunately, I cannot actually afford anything spec because I have been terrible with my power. The Salamander's Assault Squads go down relatively easily, though they do have a Tactical Squad and a Force Commander over here, but they are retreating for the Black Templars are coming for them. And by coming for them, I mean they're going to run right past the base. There does seem to be a bit of a fight up here. I'm not sure who I just spotted. I'm guessing the Black Templars. Yeah. Yeah, there was a little bit of a battle up here that uh, I just missed, as usual. Although some Grey Slayers are very fervently uh, pursuing that Space Marine squad into a point where they are now surrounded on both sides. The Black Templars have attempted to take out this tactical squad here. And it's gone about as well as you'd expect for a tier 1 Crusader squad. Surprisingly, that Grey Slayer squad did actually survive. Though I would assume that's because the, most of the thing shooting at them was uh, Siege Marines. Uh, no, there's a fair amount of Space Marine squads in here. Or oh, Space Marine... Marines. Salamanders have got a Thunderfire Cannon. Have they uh, teared up yet? I can't tell, because the replay uh, uh, sort of thing in this is absolutely abysmal. It does not show any add-ons here. Uh, Crusade Fleet Support add-on for the uh, for the Black Templars coming up. See, I wish this... This is a, kind of the point where I wish that I had some of the niceties of the StarCraft uh, 2 replay thing. Because it only actually gives you what you're doing, or what your selected player is doing. It does not actually give you every uh, everyone. So there's no production cues or anything like that. That would involve doing some level of editing, which... Uh, well, quite frankly, I'm not doing. And I would have to watch the replay about 33,000 times just to figure out what everyone was doing at a certain point. I do have some Devastators out, finally. And I think I am working on a machine cult. Nope, it's up. So, yep, yeah, should be vehicles out soon. Yes, I know I'm not really focusing on myself all that much. I'm trying to catch all the battles as they uh, happen here. Oh, the... Uh, Looks like the Imperial Fists are going for the Blood Angels, who have not much at all. That They've not even got an armory. They've nearly got their Outpost Primus, but uh, yeah, they're, they're not doing well, the old... Uh... Ooh, the, the, he just threw an incendiary grenade at me. Or whatever it was called. Was it Hellfire Grenade? I can't remember. Yeah, those two tacticals know when to beat a tactical retreat. The Grey Slayers have just taken out the Imperial Fist Generator, and that's going to set them quite back quite a bit. Uh, the Imperial Fists, I mean. The Grey Slayers took quite a lot of damage from that, but it's... Yeah, it's uh, still not enough to actually kill them outright. Wolf Lord is uh, happily beating on the siege control, but uh, I don't think he's going to take it down. They, the Grey Slayers, however, did take down that uh, that LP2 just to the north of the Fist's base, so that is... Yeah, the Imperial Fist's looking to be in kind of dire straits at the moment. As are the Blood Angels, now that I think about it. The uh, Blood Angels are really not looking in a good position. Ironically, the person in the best position seems to be me, because I've not really been all that aggressive in the grand scheme of things. I was mostly content to just sit around and let them uh, kill each other off. And speaking of killing each other off, the Black Templars uh, appear to be uh, 
getting nice up close and personal with the uh, the force commander here. Is he? Uh, yep, bonk. A jewel for the ages. A single force commander versus a couple of Black Templar initiates. It's, it's, okay, it's not really that, that that spectacular, but unfortunately for the Black Templars, the Salamanders are here to, um, well, completely ruin their day with Prometheum. Also, I decided to buy a land speeder Tempest because why not? So yes, I've started putting pushing into the Imperial Fists base now. The uh, Imperial Fists themselves are not holding on very well against the 13th Company, who have started bringing in some doggies or some doggos, depending on how you wish to uh, how you wish to say it. I'm here again, a, a assault cannon, and yes, that's the Land Speed Tempest. Uh, I have equipped it with crack missiles, because, well, why not? I don't really have a lot of anti-armor here, so... I was, I was kind of expecting the enemies to have vehicles out at this point, and uh, they did not. I've also got very heavy on the scout sniper, which does actually serve me quite well here. Because, uh, yeah, these uh, Wolves of Fenris don't like sniper rifles very much. 13th Company, trying to hide in the smoke. Unfortunately for them, these guys have uh, have some pretty decent sniper rifles. Though the 13th Company do have a lot of plasma, which is uh, definitely ruining my, uh, my advance quite a bit. Luckily, I've got more heavy bolters than uh, anything else with the Devastators, so yeah, that's uh, that's going to Put a stop to them there. Boreal coming in. And we Yep, I think the wolves know when to retreat. And it was about five minutes ago when I first started attacking them. So maybe they don't know when they're when to retreat. I need to start getting better at camera control. It's going to be essential for my uh, for that uh, that thing I planned when the uh, 7.0 campaign update comes out, or the campaign update for 7.0 comes out. Are we all quite happy? Firing off his bolt pistol. Yes, I've not actually got any of his war gear. It would appear. Uh, I don't know if I was trying to save up for something or. Uh, yeah. Oh, and here comes Captain Tycho. Though it, while we uh, wait for that battle to kick off, it does look like the Salamanders have successfully beaten back the Black Templars quite, quite significantly. Emperor's champ is that the Emperor's champion in there? Going to, uh, well. He says he's the Emperor's champion. I mean, I don't think I don't think he'll say that on his ID card after he's uh, after he's completely murdered and roasted and beyond recognition. But hey, what can you do? Well, that was anticlimactic. And he, of course, escapes in his trusty Thunderhawk. Which does manage to take down uh, a couple of marines. Yeah, those Thunderhawks are nasty, they really are. Oh, there's Captain Tycho. He's, uh, he's decided he's going to be uh, dueling Boreal today. And he's going to... Uh, yep, he went... That went about as well as expected. I mean, he... Uh, he did activate his ability while under fire from like 14 devastators. Oh, in come the doggos! Uh, well, there we go. They're, they're attacking now. Bonk. 
How well can Boreal defend against a pack of doggos? Apparently, not too bad when he has fire support. Oh, there's the Wolf Lord. Annoying my devastators. Uh, Boreal, you might want to go and hit the Wolf Lord in the face. Never mind. Boreal standing proud. And down goes another Blood Angel squad. Uh, that's why I didn't send him in. He's got 300 health. So what's going on over here? Uh, my base is being smashed. Well, that's helpful. Yes, the salamanders seem to be coming in and uh, trying to take this area off me. Which is a little unfortunate. Although I don't seem overly fussed at the minute. I have put down some turrets. And I have just got a fortress monastery for tier 2. And I am building predators. So yeah, that'll be why I'm not overly interested. I'm just going to go and uh, predator them. Another marine down. In comes a dreadnought. Luckily, I have some space marines with rocket launchers and uh, some land speeder tempests with crack. So, yeah. Imagine waiting 10,000 years or however long that uh, dreadnought has been around to be deployed onto the battlefield only to walk past a couple of guys with rocket launchers and then immediately die. Again. So, you know. Ooh, looks like the uh, Black Templars are making another push on the Salamanders. The Thunderfire Cannon is going to go down. Uh, the, I think the Predators do seem to be clearing up the Salamander squads that are coming in over here, at the very least. Meanwhile, the 13th Company has decided it's, uh, it's going to be Black Templar for lunch today. And are sending some Wolves of Fenris and some Wolfen. Oh, that's the uh, that's the wrong direction there, Caldera's. Well done, your camera control. It's as stellar as ever. Yes, I have uh, obviously had to put the uh, graphics down quite a bit in order to play a six-player game uh, with uh, these factions. In comes the Thirteenth Company. From the Eye of Terror, we come to. Uh, bark or something, I don't know. <laughs> Meanwhile, the uh, Blood Angels are doing... Well, they've got their Machine Bastion and their Reclusium, but unfortunately they've put their turret at the back of the base, where it is, uh, you know, not very effective. The Salamanders uh, have decided to send a Tech Marine as uh, part of their fighting force, which... Um, Okay, it might work when they have vehicles, but when you have two assault marines, that's not necessarily going to go well for you. Uh, yeah, it looks like I got an LP3 up here to uh, uh, defend against that, which is fine. Though I did lose the relic, unfortunately. So the salamanders will claim that. So this is my scout marine squad just going around capping everything. The. Uh, the 13th Company have got some Stormclaw bikes, which uh, thankfully are not the 5.9 incarnation. Or 9.1. Boreal is still on range stance, blinking away with his um, with his bolt pistol, doing basically nothing. I can't imagine his uh, AP versus buildings is particularly high with that thing. Luckily, the Landspeeder Tempests are basically breaking everything, because the Blood Angels have nothing. They have equipped their Devastator Squad with a single Heavy Bolter, which, well, quite frankly, I don't feel is going to do them much good. Uh, yeah, they don't have a lot of resources, and their income is butchered. So, yeah. I can't say I'm overly surprised. Death Company Rhino, you say? Oh, they have actually taken it. Uh, they've done quite a lot of damage to that land speed of Tempest. And the uh, the guy with the heavy bolter just immediately gets sniped. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's not a good time to be a blood angel, I don't think. You have a metric fuck ton of heavy bolters coming in to ruin your base and your face. Yeah, another uh, another dreadnought. He he wants none of this. He's out of here. He's like, fuck this shit. I'm out. Meanwhile, I heard someone going... Uh, I heard someone saying something. So yes, the 13th Company. They look like they're... Uh, uh, they didn't do quite as well as the Black Templars as they wanted to. Uh, the Black Templars do have a Predators and Annihilator. No, nope, just dropped it. Annihilator's the last cannon one, I think. Um, and a Dreadnought. Funnily enough, wolves don't re... Okay. The, uh, the wolves' death animation uh, bugged out there. Um, yeah, funnily enough, wolves don't do particularly well versus two dreadnoughts with heavy flamers and um, giant claws and giant swords. Can't imagine why. Although, uh, it looks like the 13th Company did manage to at least kill off one of the... Black Templar Commanders, though it's not going to really do them much good if the 13th Company have basically no forces left. There's a few Wolfen. Uh, some of the uh, some of the Assault Marines there. Uh, Blood Angels are probably dead by this point. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to redo this in the uh, when 7.0 comes out. Because obviously with the rework of the uh, Blood Angels. Who knows, it may go very differently. Although, quite frankly, I suppose it depends on who I'm playing. I like his shield. Oh. Yeah, he's, uh, I quite like his sort of shield there. I take it, is that, I take it that's just a normal shield, or is that like a, is that like a storm shield? I don't know. Yes, the Blood Angels are very, very dead. Yeah, with all the balance changes as well coming in 7.0, yeah, that's, uh... This is may go very differently. So it looks like... Uh, the 13th Company have actually managed to uh, recover their forces quite quickly, because it looks like they do have some stealth units here. The bikes have gone stealth, and the wolves have also gone stealth. Although, luckily for the Black Templars, they do now have some stealth detection. I can't see what stealth detection they have. Is it the Emperor's Champion, maybe? I don't know. Oh, there's a skull probe there. Uh, that'll be what. That'll be what's doing it. And dear God, the Black Templars just completely wrecked them. Oh, well, that's unfortunate for the uh, 13th Company. Who, uh, yeah, they're not looking so hot anymore. It yeah, looks like the uh, looks like the Thirteenth Company are going to be um, going to be returning to the warp in a very different way when to which they actually uh, left it. Yep, the camera has gone wonky again. I'm not surprised. And over here, of course. I am pushing into the Salamanders' base, because, quite frankly, why wouldn't I? The Salamanders have basically nothing left at this point. They are out of units. They've got a Razorback, and they have got a Landspeeder. And now I'm just going to sit there and glare menacingly at them. And I got two Conversion Beamers. Bzzz. I do like conversion beamers. They're cool. The tech marines desperately try to uh, try to repair the Razorback and succeed in actually saving it, but uh, by the looks of it, at the cost of their own lives. Sucks to be them, I guess. In come the 
Honor Guard. Zooming across the uh, zooming across the air. I was about to say airport. Uh, I mean, the spaceport is uh, probably more accurate. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, there's more fighting. Why am I not surprised there's more fighting? It's almost like in the grim darkness of the 42nd millennium, there is only war. And there goes the salamanders. Boom. Uh, I don't fancy the bike's chances in melee combat against this lot. But, uh, hey, what, what would I know? Oh, yeah. That went about as well as expected. But death, uh, the death sworn here. Well, they're going to be, um, they're definitely going to be living up to their name. There will be death. Unfortunately for them, it's theirs. Or maybe fortunately for them. I don't know their law. Maybe that's what they kind of intend. I wonder if they're like the, uh... I wonder if they're like the, uh, the sort of lone wolves from the uh, original Space Wolf mod, where, uh... They're sort of like, the rest of their squad was killed, so they then go out and just try and wreck as much shit as possible before dying. It is an odd thing. For Dawn? Dawn, I'm afraid, is not here. The Imperial Fist died a long time ago. Hey. I even managed to train a librarian. My god, watch me never actually use any of his abilities. Yes, I am a bit of an A move fanatic. Don't get me wrong, I can micro, but. Yeah. Ooh, a dreadnought. How are you going to fare versus my uh, myriad of anti vehicle things? Hmm. Power. Uh, yeah, the only power here was the conversion beamers. Oh, and the and of course the land speed of tempest with crack. The two land speed of tempest with crack. And apparently I'm just going for all the aircraft today because uh, there's a storm talon. So, uh, yeah, there's another one on the way. So yeah. Uh, for those wondering if you're going to see Gabriel Angelus in this game, which is what I originally intended to uh, to do, I originally intended to, to do this as the Blood Ravens, um, you will not see him, because I forgot this map has no critical location. And you need a critical location to actually, you know, uh, get him. So, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. And it looks like, unfortunately for you... Your uh, your attempts to save your base will be futile. Here comes the Black Templar, and there goes the Black Templar. They have turned invisible. They've been teleported away by Zinch. All these explanations and more uh, are probably not true. Uh, it's just like the first ball compared to the Primaris, there, uh... Yeah, there is a definite height difference. Ooh, what's going on over here? Some more 13th Company. Uh, my... Uh, Caldaris, you might wanna... You might wanna have a look at your Devastators. They seem to be doing something really stupid. You utter melt. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, it looks like the wolves tried to get into the thick of things and immediately got turned into uh, fur coats. And pretty much everything the 13th Company had was, well, destroyed. Also, I have a skull probe. Why do I have a skull probe? Maybe I just brought him in for the, for the fun of it. Oh no, I remember why I got a skull probe. It was for, the, for some infiltrated units. I uh, was... Uh, having issues with earlier. I probably just missed that. And round we come. And speaking of infiltrated units, infiltrated gate. If 
infiltrated gate that uh, looks like he's got Sar looks like he's got Saron's pupil in the middle. Either that, or it's a uh, I don't know some sort of giant mechanical vagina. I don't know. God, what is it with me and my? For some reason, my jokes have been becoming decidedly more adult of late. And I have absolutely no idea why, and I need to stop, because it's uh, getting a little silly. Oh well. Um... Am I... Do I skull from... No, my, uh, my detector just, just wandered off. And this, of course, is going to be the end of the 13th Company. And of course, the assault cannon thing is going to keep playing. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to quit that battle now, and then we're going to look at the score screen because that noise is annoying. Ah, <sighs> dear. So yeah, that was that game. Yeah, there was a lot more action going on on the uh, on the battlefield that I uh, that I remember. Well, I say I remember. Like I said, I don't really remember playing this game all that much, but I do remember playing it. I just don't remember exactly, or didn't remember exactly what happened. So yes, I feel that went better than I could have. Uh, could have really asked for, considering I'm playing the generic Space Marines, which is not one of my stronger races, I will admit. I mean, it's not my worst, but, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, units killed, 199. <laughs> units killed, four. <laughs> Yep, that's the Blood Angels, all right. They uh, killed four units. Well done. You see, you should have gone for the uh, you should have gone for the scout shotgun approach. That tends to actually do rather well. Um, yeah, even in the uh, both in public and in the sort of beta, the uh, scout shotguns is a pretty good pretty good opener for um, Blood Angels. I say, acting as if I know anything about the matter. All right, okay. I think that's uh, that's enough for today. So, just a uh, just a heads up. I will probably mention it next week as well. So, as of today, I am. Oh, I have pretty much secured a new place to live. Because I have been looking for quite some time. Um, I can finally move out of my parents' place. But, yeah. So, in the coming weeks, there may be a little bit of disruption while I move everything across. Uh, get electricity, internet, things like that. I make no promises as to how long that disruption will be. Or even how short that disruption will be. It may be that uh, it's actually pretty uh, pretty quick. I pick up the keys next week uh, if all the referencing goes through, okay? And the, if the landlord doesn't like change their mind. And I won't be moving in that weekend. But I will be starting to move things over, so probably maybe middle of March, I should be in a new Caldaris HQ. So that's uh, that's exciting. But yes, there may be some disruption while I am uh, doing that. And of course, it comes at the time when a new version of Unification is due, and it means that I might have to uh, delay the installation guide. But we'll see how it goes. 
it's just sod's law isn't it first time uh, for six six point nine comes out and I'm away so I can't record the installation guide 7.0 comes out, I'm away, uh, or busy moving house, and I can't record the installation guide. Ah, it's fine. We shall see how it goes. So, all of that said. And, yes, regarding the 7.0 version of um, Unification, I know I said that I would probably do a cast as the last thing, um... This doesn't mean that Unification 7.0 is coming out, like, tomorrow or something. It's not. Uh, it's still set for... At this point, it is set for March. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, this is not going to be the last 6.9.25 video. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop now before I start rambling on about something completely unrelated. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. Until next time, I have been Kaldaris. Goodbye.